You know, it's so odd, sir. I mean, stuff I don't understand um, politically. Mr. Biden, who's been around a very long time, so he won't take the blame for any of this. Inflation is Vladimir Putin's problem. Inflation is COVID's problem. Inflation lately is the oil company's problem. Have you ever seen a president who refuses to accept blame and, I want to add to that, commits so many falsehoods. I'm being very polite here, calling it falsehoods. Falsehoods, uh, you know, on any given day, he's out there saying stuff that just ain't true. You ever seen anything like that? Never in my lifetime. I said today that uh, um, there has never been a time in my life where a president was more disconnected from the American people than we see today. Mike Pence said, never in my lifetime. I said today, never in my lifetime have I seen a president more disconnected from the American people. Like, never. We've had many presidents, and Mike Pence, you've been around for quite some time. I think you've seen several other presidents who have been quite disconnected from the American people, given just, you know, general polling numbers that you can look at. George W. Bush's presidency, Obama's presidency at certain times, different people's polling numbers. I mean, look at Trump, so let's not even talk about that. But then, of course, the fact that Washington Post, well, according to the Washington Post, Donald Trump uttered more than 30,000 lies during his presidency, which again, I don't really know how you possibly can keep count of all of that because while he was in office, he was saying things that weren't recorded, you know, which means that Donald Trump literally, he just lies and lies and lies and lies. Everything he says is probably a lie and he can't help himself. He just says things. He just goes on stage and he just says things. So it's like, really, Mike Pence, come on, man. And then Larry Kudlow says, have you ever seen a president refuse to accept blame? And it's like, dude, that's literally what politicians do for a living. Like literally in whatever party, at whatever time you look at, they don't accept blame for things that they deliberately cause, oftentimes because it's convenient for them or because it keeps them in the seats that they're in. I mean, what are these politicians going to come out, you know, whether it's a Republican or a Democrat and say, you know what? I'm largely the reason that our healthcare system isn't more affordable. I'm largely the reason why you're drowning in student loan debt. You know, so I mean, come on now. Like, let's be serious. Is George W. Bush really going to come out? Well, he did make that Freudian slip. He did make that Freudian slip where he, he admitted that Iraq was, you know, war crimes. The result is an absence of checks and balances in Russia and the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> However, is he going to come out and really like own up to everything detail for detail? Absolutely not. Is Dick Cheney going to come out and say, you know what? The things that I did were arbitrary, led to millions of deaths and uh, against the law in many cases. It wasn't by the books. Like, um, no, that's not going to happen. So this whole segment is just stupid. And then it's like, OK, so are you saying that uh, Joe Biden is worse than Obama, in your opinion? And again, this is this is Fox News we're talking about. Fox News, the right wing outlets, Larry Kudlow, Mike Pence, anybody on the right wing. When Obama was in office, are you saying that he was better than Joe Biden? All the criticisms that Obama got, you know, literally for putting mustard uh, on a hamburger, for wearing a tan suit. I mean, literally every single thing he did, how disconnected he was from the American people. Like, come on. I mean, but again, you know, this, this, this is what they do. It doesn't matter who's in office. The next Democratic president, he's going to be the worst thing ever to exist no matter what. And it doesn't matter what the, the left wing wants. You know, anything working class, if we want to strengthen unions, if we want to, you know, do, do a little bit with the gun laws. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the, the bipartisan Senate bill that, you know, we can't even get universal background checks passed. We can't even get uh, the minimum age for purchasing semi-automatic rifles raised to 21. Just extended background checks between 18 and 21. You know, you got all these right wing outlets saying how we're, we're robbing our Second Amendment rights. We're, we're going too far with this. Like, so it's just this is what they do. It's part for the course, but this was absolutely hilarious. Mike Pence, the vice president of Donald Trump, saying he's never seen a president lie more than Joe Biden.